What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here with my beautiful co-host here, Missy Mimi's. How's it going? How's it going, guys? I'm uh, going to do an update video here on this beautiful Saturday night, September 3rd, 2022. It's about 10.33 p.m. Latest quake shows a 3.3 earthquake here right around the... Uh, it looks like right around the southern end of the Java Trench, the latest earthquake there on the map. Uh, we do have some space weather conditions popping up right now. Jumping right into it. We've got a G2 class storm currently in progress. And there is the current Aurora Oval forecast. Noticing a, a pretty good chance of seeing this uh, Aurora is down into the northern steer, uh, uh, tier states. Northern tier states. Uh, in the Montana, North Dakota regions and uh, possibly, what is that, Wisconsin in there? Yeah. Uh, seeing some of the auroras there. Uh, again, this is G2 conditions, uh, KP index of 6 right now. Coming in from the spaceweatherlive.com website. And uh, things just kind of kicking up pretty nicely right now. There is the aurora oval once again. Kind of a little bit harder to tell on this map. But uh, either way, conditions definitely ramping up pretty nicely. And there is the uh, condition, sub-auroral is a stormy right now across all the regions, including Canada up there to the north. Looks like possibly maybe down into the Oregon region as well. Uh, so if you are up into the uh, northern latitude states there and, and maybe into northern Oregon, uh, might want to look up to the north and see if you got a clear view of the horizon to the north. See if you can see those lights uh, that may be shining up there in the sky. Definitely want to check it out. Uh, looking at the space weather uh, current data here, noticing the impact here of some speed up above the 600 range. Uh, that one kicking up pretty nicely. And uh, density not a whole lot, but we are noticing that uh, solar wind stream pick, uh, picking up pretty nicely. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here. So we're looking at solar conditions, uh, G2 class storm. Um, levels reach doesn't look like it's shown up here on the solar ham site yet they are only showing a kp index of five but uh, guaranteed that is up there uh, in the g2 class storm currently right now so check it out definitely get outside and check it out if you're in those areas north uh, and especially there into the canada area all right let's go to earthquake activity real quick and see what we got rolling across the map here uh, looking at the big picture no main areas really uh, that's of concern currently looking at the states uh, just a couple scattered act, uh, earthquakes out here in the region the all magnitudes map here uh, still showing some aftershock activity following this morning's 3.6 earthquake originally came in as a 3. Point, or a 4.1 so we are seeing a little bit of aftershock sequences here roughly about the same depth there as the three pointer but uh might want to watch this though. These little swarms can uh, actually turn into something bigger um, in this area. But then again, um, it may just be aftershock sequences there from a 3.6. Kind of strange to see that many aftershocks, but we'll watch it pretty closely. Uh, Southern California, aside from that, little activity around the Salton Sea area. Nothing within the last hour. The Ridgecrest area is lighting up here with a couple small microquakes um, and some movement up and down the Calaveras Fault Zone as well. Uh, in into the coast ranges of the uh, northern California area. Got an earthquake here on the Bartlett Springs Fault System. It's a little coast range fault system, uh, 2.0 near the Lake Pillsbury area. Uh, into the Pacific Northwest, looking uh, somewhat active here on the map around Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, uh, all showing a little bit of seismic activity. We'll check out the uh, trimmer map here in a little bit and we'll see what uh, the volcano seismicity maps have for tonight. Uh, 2.1 east of Seattle as well. Uh, looking around the rest of the globe, a couple earthquakes around the Alaska region, but noticing we're looking at a lot of quiet activity again around the western Pacific and uh, even down here around the Vanuatu area and the Fiji area, all seeing uh, just some dwindling activity from this morning. So we haven't seen too much activity uh, in the last 12 hours here. Um, things are just coming to a stall currently. Uh, over around the Greece area, a couple fours are the magic number outside of Athens, Greece, around the Mediterranean Sea area. One earthquake up here around the Iceland area as well. Actually, I believe there's another one. Yeah, maybe just a 4.5 uh, north of Iceland along this plate boundary here. Uh, South America area, got a couple fours kicking up, although the, most of this activity from this morning and uh, uh, afternoon time frame. 
little bit of activity in Puerto Rico as well, noticing uh, some movement kicking up here. Looks like a couple earthquakes here within the last uh, few hours or so. Um, this one here from earlier the, this afternoon, a 4.4 in the U.S. Virgin Islands area. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick and uh, see what we got for earthquake swarming going on. Not a whole lot, uh, but we're still seeing some very small microquakes up here on the map. Notice all these little sp spikes indicating some uh, very small microquakes, but looks like this swarm may be dying down um, from from the seven past seven, eight days of activity. No tremors tonight along the Cascadia, uh, which is not unheard of. It does happen. Sometimes we get these quiet spells. Uh, Mount St. Helens activity around the area let's go ahead and check out this webby quarter up here and see what we got for recorded data um, and i'm sure they still continuing to see a little bit of microquake activity looks like one right here uh, a few hours ago and earlier this afternoon and, and it looks like maybe one right here but that kind of looks like a little bit of a, a distant earthquake from this seismograph station but uh, overall just a couple spotty uh, areas of uh, activity today um so let's see what else is there earthquake scan up to the north we'll check these guys out here real quick and then we'll call it um little activity looks up looks like up here in the bc region a little 2.3 nothing going on off the coast here today uh not a whole lot of red circles there indicating recent activity uh, and if you look at the rest of the map here it looks pretty quiet here as uh, far as movement goes a lot of this activity from weeks past uh, indicating the yellow and orange earthquakes here on the map. So aside from this one here, pretty quiet up here in the uh, northern part of the North American plate. All right, guys, uh, again, get out there if you have clear skies. And uh, you know, I don't know how far it's stretching down, but uh, according to the Aurora forecast there, it looks like it could be kicking up uh, into portions of maybe northern Oregon or so. So Montana... Um, North Dakota, maybe Washington area, get out there if you have clear skies and check out the Aurora. Um, it might be, uh, might be cool to go see. I mean, G2 class storm coming in right now, so go check it out. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you a little bit later. Have a good night, guys. Peace out.